Hi, my name is Darren. I'm from Utah Helicopter. And today, I want to talk to you a little bit about density altitude. So before we understand density altitude, we need to know what pressure altitude is. And pressure altitude is what is read on your altimeter when it's set to standard pressure, which is 29.92 kilograms of mercury. Density altitude, we have to take into consideration what the temperature is. And when we measure this, our standard temperature is 15 degrees. So if it's different than that, the density altitude is going to identify how dense the air is. So what is density? Density is any time we evaluate the mass of an object within a given space. Think about a balloon. If we have heat that's going to the balloon, the air inside is going to want to expand. If we add cold air to the balloon, it's going to want to shrink. So the reason for that is because when things, when air is heated, the molecules get really excited and they want to move around. Um, when cold air is there, everything shrinks. Okay, so we identified that when we add heat, air becomes thinner in essence. So as pilots, how does that affect us? Well, we have to evaluate the density altitude before every flight. So I've taken a couple of figures and our field elevation at Spanish Fork in Utah is 4,529 feet. If we took a reading at zero degrees Celsius, it shows our density altitude as only being 3,800 feet. So even though our field elevation is 4,529 feet, it's as if we were flying in 3,800 feet. So now if we add temperature and we take a look at that same thing at 30 degrees Celsius, it shows that our density altitude is 7,000 feet. So, in essence, even though we're only 4,529 feet, it's as if we were flying at 7,000 feet. So, mountaintop landings, our hovers, everything else has to be evaluated based on that criteria. We have a lot of friends that are out in the EMS world, and they often tell us that that's one of the most critical things that they have to look at whenever they're out on their rescue missions. So. Take a look at your density altitude for your own safety as far as the maneuvers that you can do in your aircraft. So I hope this helps explain. If you have any further questions, please give us a call. Thanks.